We are at war. Well, in September of this year, the people of Cheshire will be marking the beginnings of the Great War with a musical and theatrical performance which will tour many of the railway stations in the county. And when you combine the Great War and the railway, there's a real interest out there. The railway stations will come to life with soldiers and nurses who are departing, making their way to the Western Front. This project reminds us that some left their local station and didn't return. Well, of course, the railway stations were the very places where the soldiers and the nurses departed. It, it would have been a place where there would have been jubilant send-offs. Stations, places of transitions, key gateways into communities, journeys beginning and ending, sad goodbyes and happy hellos. We know now, but they didn't really know then, that many, many of those that went off from the railway stations would have left for the last time and would never have returned. Well, of course, a hundred years on and these railway stations are still a, a real hub of activity. This project is about remembering local people and the sacrifice that they made and the journey that began at their local station. All in all, there's about 300 people involved in the performance. Many of them will be playing the people of Cheshire who were there to do the sending off. And as a county, of course, it was the Cheshire Regiment that those brave young men joined. Yeah, well, it's definitely a, a cross-generational project. There are also people who are going to be playing the soldiers, the VAD nurses, the officers. We'll hear the voice of Lord Kitchener. We may hear the words of the Prime Minister, but we'll also hear some of the headlines through young newspaper boys. People across the county are researching the local stories, the local people, families and relations who went off to war from their local station. And we're starting to hear those stories and how they will weave them into the day when we go along with Over by Christmas. The performance will include many songs, uh, the songs that were sung during that time. And in 1914, the songs reflected the, the early optimism. There were songs of recruitment and, and songs which perhaps reflected that feeling that indeed the war, the war to end all wars, would be over by Christmas. Well, the performance brings us swiftly to a point when we realise the full horror of what this war was and that, in fact, it, it wouldn't be over by Christmas. And we get a, a glimpse of the realisation of, of what this total war and, and its horrors would bring. And it's reminding people of the importance of the railway network and stations as communities played their part in this world-changing event. But later on that year, the full realisation of the horrors of this new type of war started to sink in and after 1914 there were no songs of that nature that were ever written but there were songs which reflected the despair and the, the hopelessness of those soldiers who were out at the front, and also songs which reflected the real desperate hope of those who were left at home, hoping that their loved ones would return home safely. And then the piece ends with a stirring musical rendition of that painfully beautiful poem by Lawrence Binion which includes the words at the going down of the sun and in the morning we will remember them Thank you.